Hello, brothers and sisters of Latin Dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down. Need to get here in 10 minutes to go over to them. It's something very, very, very important. And not important. The liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people who smoke, people like to drink, people like AOIC, people like DMT. Listeners, discretion is advised. Those people who like to smear weed, mar marijuana, people like alcohol, don't watch my videos. I'm the voodoo man, okay? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I gotta make my voodoo. You know, anyone who sees this photo who has wickedness in their hearts, of course, they're not like me because I'm the Jesus type, is doomed to repeat and doomed to repeat and rinse again and again and again. But, of course, I always do this in my intro. And, of course, um, I want you guys to understand, thank you very much for listening to my, my videos and sharing it. Um, though I know I get a thousands of views, okay, but I don't really care if what you see what the numbers are. Oh, just keep in mind that whatever numbers you see is false numbers. They're falsified. You know, YouTube controls the, the algorithm of how many views you receive. I've already received two strikes for my Mothy's Knowledge 5, so now I'm back on Mothy's Knowledge 4. <clears throat> though I do not break their policy... The feminist movement and the effeminates have taken over freedom of speech. And it's up to you guys, who have the most capital in the world, to stop that from happening. Especially in America, you know. It's fucked up, because I'm a comedian. I should be able to say what the fuck I want to say, especially if I'm black, okay? I can say what the fuck I want to say. And you can say anything you want about me, too. As long as it's true, okay? Or you can make fun of me. I don't care. Okay? That's why I say you can say comments, questions, or insults, or even roast fest. You put it down below. I don't mind that. No problems. But, um... I just want to thank you guys. This video is going to be about um, the standards and the thanks from all of the love from I get. Okay? I get all the love. Thank you very much behind the scenes. Thank you. Um, this video is for, for helping women to, um, you know, to have something in common with men because I've made that video before. As I said before, the standards for, for men are pretty much low for beta alphas. They're very low. But for most women who have hit the cock carousel, and if you, I'm talking, I'm talking to you mostly, you women, you know, your standards, you, you put your standards way up there, okay? And that's not fair, okay? That's not cool. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to keep running after the alpha males, and the alpha males ain't going to want you. Because you're no longer, and you, ha you are no longer qualified for them, okay? But I did give hints in my past videos about how you women can actually attain a beta alpha, because I'm an alpha. I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. You don't need a lot of money to be an alpha. Okay? Because I don't care too much about money. The only thing I care about is respect. I care. Even if you don't have a lot of things in common with me, which most women, as I say this time and time again, you don't have a lot of things in common with men. What I like to do in my spare time, I like to do research. So I can never be a boring person. I like to talk about many different subjects. I'm a sapiosexual. I'm a gamer. As you sure, that, that's a fundamental thing. Guy, guys got to get their game. Okay, some guys are into guns. Some guys are into cars. Okay, some guys like to play sports. I'm into sports. Okay, so just my mental psychosis alone is too much for most women to bear. Okay, for a lot of guys that come into my inbox, I appreciate all the love that you listen to me and you share my knowledge because I see it out there. I respect that because you know I'm old school. I'm old head. Even though I don't look like it, in a sense, I am 47 this year. Okay? I take care of my health. You know, I don't. I always. I lost my virginity when I was 31. I'm 47 this year. Think about that. That means I take care of my health by eating the right food, staying away from the wrong people, staying young and youthful but knowledgeable at the same time, and being myself. When I, when I, don't, I don't have to worry about someone calling me any names or anything because I'm. I'm beyond that. Okay? I'm beyond that scope. But. That's what I want to say to you brothers out there and to you women. I'm just trying to tell you, you know, if you got a problem with alpha men, don't don't take it there. Alpha men are only like 10 to 15 percent of the population. OK, if you want to have something with with beta alpha males, then basically just try to like like something that he likes to do. OK, if you want to be a better person, OK, you know, don't just say I'm just coming with my coochie and I'm coming with my fucking babies and shit. No, that's not enough for guys. Even the beta alpha males is going to recognize your shit and then that not stay long. They're not going to stay long because you don't really have anything. How about this? As I said this before, time and time again to you women, why not think about polygyny? Okay, I, I don't understand why you don't think about polygyny when you already was doing 
you already rolled the cock carousel. You was already into a polyandry. Why, why not do that? Okay? I, I don't understand that logic. When I come across for even foreign women, because me, I only talk to foreign women, by the way, because my first wife was fucking Ethiopian. I talked to so many women overseas. Um, and even in another country, sometimes they get a little goofy sometimes. I'll say to a female, just for curiosity, even though I'm not going to stick my dick in there, they use vaginas, your, your vajajas. I would say, well, okay, let's do polygyny. Okay, let's, you get another sister, yada, yada, yada. And they'll usually say, no. I say, isn't Africa about polygyny? Isn't that an Af alpha male country? It's changing over there. It's literally changing in Africa. Okay, I tell guys all the time, stay away from Brazil. Stay away from the south of, of America. Any country that's close to America is a poison country. But I try to tell you women that instead of thinking about being horny all the time, think about your future, okay? Because real men ain't going to settle for that used vagina, okay? I'm just going to tell you that right now. They, don't, they want, you are their property. That's how men think. You are their property. But you may say, oh, I'm not nobody's property. Okay, but it's not a really mean way. I'm not trying to say it in a mean way, like he possessed you and you can't do nothing else. But you got to respect him. Like, for example, I can say a I am a woman's property if she does this, this, and that. See? Okay? You know, you are someone's property because you go to a job. You go to a job, you know, he's liable for you at the job. Or you're liable for him. Okay, you go to a job, you go to a manager. You know, your, your women have a lot of conundrums and also oxymorons with you. Okay? You don't understand what you're talking about most of the time. You work for the white man. You are his property. You're working for him. Do you understand that terminology? It's not like a mean terminology. If I work for the white man, that I'm his property. I'm working. It's the way you, you characterize the words. Don't get sensitive about it. That's not cool to be, get sensitive. You got to be humble. Okay? But this video is pertaining to thanks and also to better benefit the women out there who want to try to find a good alpha male. Okay? Because you're not going to find any alpha males like myself. Because I told you this time and time again. A lot of these... Uh, a high fly, a beta alpha cucks out there who is playboy fucks. They look like fucking eight nines and tens. Are those type of guys you're gonna get? They're gonna lick the pussy. They're gonna like. They're gonna like the way it tastes. And you're gonna cook the wrong way. And that's it. They're gone. I'm just trying to help you out. Okay. So we'll try to find a hobby. What most guys like to do. Um, I recommend staying away from Negroes unless you're a very sexual person. Okay. I'm not being hateful towards Negroes. I just know. All of the Negroes I was hanging around, it is, they tend to be lazy when it comes to education. I am not fully Negro. I'm mixed. Okay? I, I'm just not, I'm not talking about black people. I'm not talking about white people. I'm just trying to tell you straight up that the more of a darker you go, the more it seems to be more sexual. And a lot of guys, a lot of women tend to focus on the black cock in their prime when they're young. Okay? And I, I feel that that's not good. Okay? I'm talking about guys who are darker than me or truly Negro. I got a big nose and I got big lips. Got Negro-like features. But I'm trying to tell you, I see a pattern. Okay? So, the lighter you go, the smaller you get. Okay? That's just fucking the truth, man. But they got more income. Okay? And that's what women tend... And that's sad. That's really bad. There's more of them than the Negro. Because the Negro is only 13%. Okay? So, other than that, you women are going to have to make a decision in between somewhere. Me, I have to work for my shit. Like, I, when I got my wife here, I had to literally do all of the paperwork and all of the testing and shit. I got to do all the applications. She was intelligent enough to try to, uh, uh, you know, try to manipulate me, but I win, okay? Because I, I take both sides of the fence, okay? I understand why she did certain things, and I understand why you can do some things, and I have a plan so we I won't fall on deaf ears because I'm the psychopath, okay? Okay, most alphas are psychopaths. In a good sense. Okay? It's not really a bad sense. But other than that, um, you women got to stop saying there's no hell spirit in a man's scorn if you're feminist. I know what you want because I talked to you before. Okay, you pay services and I will be your jumping fucking monkey. Because everything, move, money moves everything, y'all women. So if you got money to pay for good alphas, pay for it, okay, for a time being. Okay, because everything, if you ain't got no money and only thing you come into the table is your pussy, it's not good enough. The pussy is not going to be good enough. And I respect all you guys who are hearing my message. Because now your time is done. It's sealed. And for any women listening to me, your time is not done. If you can find, if you can listen and pay attention to the real alphas, which is myself. There's a lot of shit out there. A lot of guys talking. But there are no alphas. Okay, I'm just trying to tell you from an alpha perspective. 
And Alpha doesn't need a lot of money. Okay. If you think that, okay, oh, he has to have this amount of money, then you are not going to get that at all. And you're not paying attention to me. You're not paying attention. And you're going to suffer. And then you're going to keep you're going to keep getting angry. You're going to keep getting angry. You'll have no counseling. You don't know who to talk to. Okay. Because I talk to women too. I talk to hundreds of women and men in my inbox. So um, if you need counseling or you need some assistance, you come to me. This is all unscripted. I'm going to get me a smoothie and I'm going to be chilling because I'm traveling. Okay? I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Stay away from the COVID. Okay, No one should be forced. Idiots get forced. You're going to have to fight for your life because there's lots of people dying and they put it on the CDC. And that's all you need to know. Okay, Lots of people are dying. Some people are getting permanently crippled okay, because of this, this uh, COVID. Even the first shot, poison. Then they try to administer a second shot. Then they tell you they're not liable. Then they tell you, you <laughs> are responsible for your own death. And that's the answer. So, um, so far, 8% of Americans have received the COVID shot and they usually die within the first five years. Fact, either become crippled because of some impairment or, of course, death. But you don't have to listen to me. You can just go on because I'm too cringy for you. Okay. Because that's my magic. I told you before, there are people who are magical in this world who are not to be fucked with. And I told my wife this, and she saw all sorts of magic that I did. And she just ignored me and shit. But I like it. Okay, because when things fall apart and all crumble around herself, not my, I'm not, I, as a matter of fact, I'm the devil. Do you really want to fuck with the devil? I listen to the devil all of the time. Capiche? Okay. Okay. So, let's continue on now here. Um, thank you very much, you guys, for listening to me and spreading my message. I'm starting to see a, a trend of guys uh, saying certain things that I'm the only one who's supposed to be saying it. But since you say something, the, the rumor gets out, and you break it down into a consensus, precise point, different from my point, okay? But it's okay. But I know that you're taking my information, and you're going to there, and then they, they share it. And I appreciate it, because they're not saying exactly what I'm saying, which is good, okay? I can tell when someone's watching me, okay? But of course, um, you women out there, um, please prepare for the wrath of men once again, okay? Because there's no hell is buried in a man's scorn, okay? Uh, duh, okay? I don't understand how there's a woman scorn thing. I don't believe in that. Okay? Look at the history. Look at the research. Yes.